So this was a port I had on some time ago of the Castaway emulator to the Tinsy 4.1 and I added recently actually support also for higher resolution. Uh, I will just show you a, a desktop to show you actually. Here also the mouse is supported so this is the 320 by 240 mode but if I go to over here you can notice I can change now the resolution and I'm now running at uh, 480 by 200 uh, that was the resolution of the Atari. Uh, you can also go to the monochrome version so the Atari ST had the advantage to if you were connecting it to a monochrome uh, monitor you could run it at four, uh, 640 by uh, 400 so actually if you uh, restart the emulator and uh, connect it to the battery it's easier if you press uh, in fact the second button you will go to that mode you will see some disturbance on the image but that's again due to that VGA to HDMI conversion I can still tweak a bit the timing of the VGA driver but uh, here at least it's running at a higher resolution yeah outside of the ATST was always a bit tricky but oh that's uh, that resolution so that is in fact for my next project because I needed to be able to display such a high resolution because my next step would be to add MIDI support via USB to this other emulator and as long I'm not able, I was not able to go to a high resolution, I was not able to run something like Cubase, so Cubase is now uh, running. So I will just also show you uh, the status of the emulator. Sound is less good than on the Commodore, on the Amiga, but you can recognize at least the sound. There is still that problem with the sound buffer uh, implementation that I also have to fix. But and just show you some games and demos. You remember the thunder of the crown? The version I could have shown you the Amiga version. Let's go to another game and then I will close with that demo. Not sure exactly where I will end up. fantastic game I think but compatibility is also not too bad because it's like emulating an Atari ST with 4 megabytes of RAM maybe the last one Maybe I can show you actually uh, in black and white. I can show you uh, Cubase in black and white uh, to show at least that it starts. I actually own a version, an original version of Cubase, but I needed for this version, I needed to have a version from the floppy, as I don't uh, have yet. So this is actually Cubase running on the uh, on the TNC 4.1. So still to be done is of course the link with the MIDI. Uh, it will take me some time probably. I hope for Christmas I will have something running. So that's it for the demo. That was uh, at least the status of the VGA driver and these two emulators uh, using it. Uh, so some good progress I have to say. Uh, the biggest problem I had was when I was running at highest resolution uh, Amiga and Atari ST emulator were, were already giving a very bad picture so now it's a, there is a bit of jitter but that's mostly due to this uh, HDMI to VGA converter what you see if you run it again on a VGA monitor it's much much better that's it for the video thank you